Hi color kids, this is Katie Carty Hiley from RainbowBright.net. Welcome back to the Rainbow Land Museum. And as promised, the famous, it's not famous, it probably never will be famous, the infamous, the important, maybe to some of you, the Baby Bright video <laughs> that I've been promising for a very long time. That's why I have a slew of Baby Brights behind me and another slew that you can't see below me. Um, so I just had some fun comparing all of these, and I actually found the variations, okay? Um, and there may be more than this, but I'm going to tell you what I know and show you all examples, etc. So baby brides, from what I know, what I can tell, were made either in China or Taiwan. China seems to be more rare. Um, Taiwan seems to be where most of them were produced but they're made in both countries. Um, I'm gonna show you my two, wait, I have three from China, don't I? Are you from China? Mm, where'd it go? Yes. Um, I have one, two, three from China and one, two, three, four from Taiwan. Okay, that's not a very big data set. Uh, so maybe they're both just as common. <laughs> But I might actually do something I never do, and that is open a doll on camera even. Um, I, 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 I. Once I get Skeletor away, he was trying to play with, oh my goodness, of all the things, he was trying to dig his claws into like her satiny material bloomers. The worst part he could possibly, you're banned, not really, but you're bad. Okay, so Baby Bright. First, I'm going to show you my strangest Baby Bright and what sent me down the rabbit hole into Baby Bright Variant Land. So, y'all know I did my Puppy Bright Rabbit Hole Variant Land video, I don't know, a couple years ago, um, where I found one of my, one of my Puppy Brights was different from others, and I was like, determined to find other ones like yeah, I never did, but I ended up buying like four or five other ones off of eBay and doing all these comparisons, etc. Um, I did the same thing with Baby Bright. I already had at least these two and this boxed one. I got another boxed one and two more loose ones. And then this one, I don't remember when I got it. Cause it's in the like, children can play with this one pile. Uh, <laughs> I have a little basket of dolls um, that, is, so for when collectors or fans, whatever, when people come to the museum and they bring little children with them and you know how children want to pick up everything, especially bright, sparkly, rainbow, colorful things. Um, I have a basket of things that they can hold while they walk around and it just, I've never had a kid actually freak out. They've all been very well behaved, but it's just a, kind of a safety net. It makes me feel better to know that, yes, here, hold this, have fun. Um, so I don't remember quite where she came from. We'll get to her, but this is where it all started. So this baby bright is not from my childhood. I don't exactly remember when I got her, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty early on in my collection um, because she was just like, my baby bright doll like i like i said i don't remember when or where these came from i just they're around and this one i just have on display because it has the diaper on it which i'll show you in a minute um that's the only reason it's even out on display and probably right like the only reason i kept it because i wanted one to show off the diaper um and then these i bought on purpose but whatever but this is the one that was just in my collection for the longest time. This was just the baby bright in my collection. I had it, the bottle that it came with. So I was like, well, that's all I need. I've got the baby bright. I've got the bottle. I'm good. Until later on when I started collecting dolls in the box. Um, and I got a boxed one. But once I started, you know, these two showed up somehow. <laughs> whenever that happened. And then I, I think I looked a little harder at the one in the box that I eventually got. I started noticing some differences and it just bugged me like it does. And I wanted to have all the different variants like I do. So I'm going to show you 
where this all began. Where this all began is the fact that she does not have the stitching. Um, it's like a quilt stitch that I'll show you on the other dolls um, around her bodysuit. Or, yeah, her the bodysuit that's underneath her outfit. I thought she must have just been made that way and she was super special. She is special in other ways, but I, I recently figured out by comparing her to the other dolls, and if I look really closely, I'm almost 100% sure this will not show up on the camera, but I can see the pattern very faintly of dots of where the quilt stitch used to be. Um, really doubt you'll be able to see it, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to let you see it, let you pick it out. It makes this like triangle, you know, maybe it would help for you to know what you're looking for. It looks like this. <laughs> they all have this quilt stitch pattern on their upper bodysuit for whatever reason. Um, so maybe you can possibly see the very faint white dots that are still there. But hers is, all of the thread is completely gone. Um, so that's why I thought she was really unique once I started comparing her to other baby brides. Um, let me just take her outfit off real quick, or at least down. Now, she clearly, I don't think I did this. I think she came this way, but it, who knows. Um, she's got some sun, sun damage to her bodysuit, um, because, you know, the part that her clothing covers is a deeper blue than this up here that has been exposed to sunlight. Um, so I thought that, uh, see another thing, there's so many things, I'm going to probably be a little all over the place in this video and I apologize, but her hair is very, very light. It's, it, I hasten to even call this pink, honestly. This is like the lightest possible pink that still may be considered pink. And if she were not, if it didn't have a pink bow and she weren't wearing a pink outfit, if I had just seen the yarn, I'd probably just say it was beige or off-white or gray even. It's a very light something color. But there are also dolls that have this hair color that is a very bright pink. And it's, my lights are making it, there we go, there we go. Now you can really see the difference. I mean, compared to this, this looks white or gray. It looks kind of gross. Um, so this hair color I prefer. It's it's beautiful. It is lighter than, where's Tickle Pink? Is she in here? No. But yeah, it's lighter than Tickle Pink's hair, but it's still a pretty light pink, whereas this one has this gray. Um, so again, with a limited data set, because both of these have the pink, um, I was like, okay, why is this one so weird? And it's not just the front, you know, it's not that it just faded from the sun like this part did, like all of her hair, even underneath, like all of it is this color. Um, and there's paint on her, on her scalp, if you can see it, that's the same color as this yarn. Um, let me actually check. I forgot to check the scalps of those with, oh, that's interesting. So the ones with the bright pink hair, or at least this one from Taiwan, there is no paint on her scalp, I don't think. Uh, I know, it's hard to see. Actually, no, there is. It's just, because I'm comparing it to her neck color. Okay, yeah, there is paint there, but it's a brighter pink than what the hair color is. <laughs> it, it's not the same, like that, the white, gray, whatever silver matches very well um if you can see through here yeah it's a it's just a different color pink it's not like way off it's not like they made it hot pink and then gave her pastel hair but it's it's a more noticeable difference that's why i thought it wasn't painted at first but it is so anyway so different paint colors i get that keep that in mind with all of this other stuff i'm gonna be throwing at you um, also, once I was comparing this girl to the others, her face color, so like the plastic, whoops, um, 
that they used for her head mold is a different color. Well, either of these will work as a comparison. They're a little dirty, forgive, but um, I think you can see how she's almost like more tan, I guess you could say, and less pink. She's more just flesh colored instead of pink colored. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, and also, okay, while we're up close here, check out her lipstick and star on her cheek. The colors are very different. They're much lighter on this one than this one. So there were so many differences that I was just like, what's going on? Um, but at least after, you know, getting more of these, looking really close, doing some more research, I at least figured out that she did used to have the quilt stitch. It just fell out or was pulled out at some point. Um, and okay, so this, this is the other loose one that's from China. Another thing that made me be like, oh yeah, it totally just fell out, is that hers is also loose and coming out um, in sections. Can you see over, right over there? Ow. So hard to get the right angle to show this to you guys sometimes. Actually, on the back, you can see it really well. What am I doing? It's already come out of part of the back. So yeah, the string is just not in there very well. <laughs> like if I tugged at that, it would probably just all come out. So I think the ones from China, perhaps. Let me see about the thickness of the thread. It looks about the same thickness, yeah. Um, and she also has some sun damage, but yeah, overall, and okay, let's look at the bottom of their feet too. Um, hush, wisp. This is actually a little bit lighter. Okay, let's compare these instead. You can go back over here. Um, the ones from China have lighter, uh, okay, so their armbands, the colors are lighter, and the bottom of their feet, the blue, is also lighter than the ones from Taiwan. So, like I said, some sun damage. So, let me turn her around so you can see the non sun damaged part of her bodysuit. But still, compare the blues. Um, eh, they look about the same now that they're on camera. But in person, actually, they don't look that different. Hey, 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 stop. Um, well, Maybe it really, really is some damage on both of these Chinese ones then. Because that looks pretty much the same actually when I turn her around. But all of these Taiwanese ones I have, there's no sun damage on any of them. So either they were just better taken care of or this material doesn't fade as easily as the, the stuff from China. But their feet, which most likely didn't get sun damage. It makes sense for her front, you know, if you, she's, I don't know, laying out in the sun or sitting or standing. Or, I, but her feet are also a lighter color. Like that's very obvious. And it's the same with the other one from China. See, just lighter blue feet. So some of that could be sun damage. And I, like I said, might open a box doll to give us more data. <laughs> um, but, oh, oh yeah, and, oh, okay, and see, I just, my brain's all over the place. So these are both from China, but they have different hair colors. So it's not like it's just the ones from China that have the white gray hair. Um, they have both. And the ones from Taiwan, uh, yeah, again, they also have both. Like that one has the pink and most of the red, like all those are grayish or varying shades of, of this. Um, but yeah, these are both from China and have a completely different hair color. So you can't tell just by hair color what country a Baby Bright doll necessarily came from. Um, and even, you know, again, some of this could be sun damage. We turn her around. But the armbands, 
are lighter on this girl. Like not a huge amount, but like in person, it's much more visible, I think, than it's probably showing up on camera. But yeah, they're, they're just lighter. Um, even, yeah, even the orange on her boots. I don't know if you can tell really, but it's lighter on the one from China. So, okay, diaper. Let's, let's do that real quick. Um, I think, if I remember right, there were some Baby Brights that came with a diaper in the box. If I can find an image of, because I'm sure if I come across it, I saved the image. If I can find it, I will put it here. Um, it may have been like a, a, a set that you could buy that came with a diaper that you could use on Baby Bright. I'm not sure. But somehow I got the diaper, probably on eBay sometime, and just found a random Baby Bright doll to display it on because it's cute. But it doesn't stay on very well. It's actually pretty loose. <laughs> like I'm using the tag to kind of make it stay up. Uh, but it's cute and it's got the little thing that her outfit would typically have on it, her little emblem. So there is also a diaper for Baby Bright do dolls that exists if you're interested in having a complete Baby Doll, Baby Bright doll collection. Um, okay, so these two are from China. Did I show you? Oh, which ones did I show you? The difference in face or face paint. I think it was the one from Taiwan. But even from China there's differences. So this is again my original with the really light. She has the lightest, yeah, she has the lightest um, lipstick and star of any that I have, which again, some of that could be sun damage. Um, but she may have just been made that way. I don't know. Um, but the other one from China, it's darker, but not as dark as from the ones from Taiwan. See, it's actually just, yeah, pinker. And then let me hold her up against the one from Taiwan. See if they're the same. Yeah, see the one from Taiwan? It's a deeper, like, mauve, whereas this one's like hot pink. And you can barely see her cheek star, whereas this one is very prominent. Um, so yeah, definite differences in face paint and some maybe random lightness in clothing. Um, so let me show you these. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. One more thing. Actually, I should check my list. I made a list of different things about the Chinese ones. I think I've shown you all of it except this thing I'm about to show you. Yeah. The back of the head. Okay. Rainbow Bride dolls are known for saying, you know, 1983 Hallmark cards and then a country. I'm trying to see which one's going to be easier to see. That's funny. These are both, they both have the same imperfection where the year is, it's like it wasn't stamped in as deeply as the rest of it. Like, it's, I can see it, um, but I don't know if it's going to show up very well on camera, but it does say copyright 1983 Hallmark Cards, Inc. Um, and it does say China, but the part where it says China is like an Audi, like it sticks out. It's not in the plastic like we're used to. Well, I mean, you can see the bump, like that's obvious. That's where it says China. Um, I just doubt you're going to be able to read it, but... Okay, yeah, so this is where it ends, Hallmark, Inc., whatever. Um, but over here is the 1983 that I don't think is showing up at all, or barely, on this camera. But yeah, isn't that weird? And they both have that. Because that was, yeah, that's the light, my original one. This is the other one from China. But it has the same Audi, little China bump. I don't know why they did that, because the ones from Taiwan... They just say Taiwan. I don't know if you can read it, but it's there. <laughs> oh, this is not showing up well. But yeah, just under the 1983 Hallmark cards in the middle. If you see text, it says Taiwan. Okay. Okay. 
So I've also got these two from Taiwan. Um, and sometimes I just like to hold them beside each other and be like, okay, well, what's the difference between you two? They're pretty much the same. Like this one's in better condition. Um, another thing you'll find with Baby Bright dolls, a lot of them, the elastic has just died. <laughs> like my, well, I set her back down. Uh, <laughs> I push this out a little bit. The one I've had for years and years, her elastic is just ridiculous. Like she's wearing balloon pants at this point. There, there is no elasticity left <laughs> in her bloomers. Um or a romper, or whatever you want to call it. And this one's not much better. It's, it's about the same. But then this one, who also, her hair is in great shape. I mean, she's been in a bag. She's been sitting very, like, not quite, um, what do you call it? When you take all the air out of something. Not quite that, but just very, tightly in a plastic bag for a bit. So her hair is still nice and flat when, as the person who sold it to me made it when they packed it. Um, but it looks really cute that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Usually it's just sticking up all over the place. But she has her original hair bow and let's see if I can see it. Because yeah, Baby Brights also come with the white elastic band plus the hair bow. I can't see. Yeah, I don't want to move it too much. My original one, though, that I've had forever, it does, under all that gray hair, does have the original bow and it does have the white elastic as well. Which is probably one of the reasons I just kept that, kept it as long as I did and didn't think about replacing it or anything like that. Um, but these two are pretty much the same except for condition. Like the paint color on their faces is basically the same. Um, let's see if there's any sun damage. No. Yeah, these both look really good. Um, but this one, did I even show you? Oh, I was talking about their bloomers or their outfit. This one actually still has a bit of elasticity to it. So it's still kind of Blooms up like bloomers are supposed to do. Um, oh, right. This one's Canadian. It has the really long Canadian tag. <laughs> as well as the regular tag. Um, that's right there. But yeah, I, I think I must have... It probably just came that way. But I left it out on purpose to remind myself to be like, Oh yeah, this one's Canadian. Not that I found any difference. Because um, these, again, are all from Taiwan. Yeah. So I keep finding hairs, like people or pet, I'm not sure, that <laughs> I keep pulling off of her. Um, yeah, they're both in Taiwan, so they look the same apart from condition. But yeah, if you have one with a really long tag, any doll, any Rainbow Bright doll with a really long tag, that's Canadian. It's got French on it because it's English and French for French, Can French Canada. Or the French speaking parts of Canada. You know what I mean. Um, what else was I going to tell you about these? Like, so their armbands are really brightly colored, and their boots are nice dark orange. Got the bright blue on the bottom of their feet. This one looks a little lighter, doesn't it? Maybe that's just the camera. Maybe slightly. But overall, about the same. But I love her hair. Uh, and this one just has like a random hair tie in it. Like it lost its bow many, many moons ago. So let me put those back down. Okay, so I had this one in box. I've had it for years. This has been my mint inbox baby break. Although I realized after I got another one that this one has been opened and closed. And I didn't realize it took me much longer than I should have to realize that because it does have tape on it that's not cut but where the original tape was that's that's been open here I'll just show you I don't mind showing off my stupidity um 
So there, and there, and there, and there um, are all these. And they do look pretty old. So maybe someone did this years and years ago. It does look like old ratty tape. Um, but if you look at the bottom, it's only got one piece. And the new one that I got on the top, one piece. It's not supposed to have, what is this, one, two, four, five, whatever. It's not supposed to have that many pieces of tape. And plus this one, like her bottle has fallen to the bottom of the box. She's just kind of loose in there. She's not zip tied. Um, so she clearly was taken out and put, put back in. Who knows why? But she is in really good shape, except a little bit of dirt on her nose, I think just from rubbing up against the plastic. Um, but because I have this new one now, I and I don't have room to display two mint and box baby brights. These are big boxes, you guys. I think what I'm going to do is display this one where that one was, because you can still see its bottle where it's supposed to be in the box. Um, and even though it has the whitish hair, <laughs> I'll forgive it. I do like the pink hair, but this one, you know, it's still the way it should be. Um, and it's actually... Yeah, I think it's even got plastic. It does. It's got some plastic around the head, um, keeping the bangs down. So yeah, this one's just in much better condition overall. It's gorgeous. And yeah, because it's from Taiwan, it's got all the brighter colors. And her, let me see. I'm just curious if her face paint is even darker or the same. I'd say the same. It's hard to tell with the plastic over it, but this one might actually have slightly darker lips than the one in the box. But also her hair is pinker. The variation in the yarn is so weird to me. Like this one, it's still that whitish gray, but it's not quite as gray. Here, let's do this. You hold up your white gray against this white gray. Or is it just an optical illusion? Maybe they're the same. In person, it looks slightly pinker. Ever so slightly. Ugh. Your hair's crazy. Maybe you can see it there. There's just, there's a little extra something to this yarn than there is to this. It's almost purplish. It's more purple. But it comes off looking pink just because she has so much pink on her. And <laughs> it's a pink bone. I don't know. I don't know. So, okay. Um, the video probably won't give me quite enough time to open this baby bright, so let me pause it. And then we're going to do something really crazy, and that is open a vintage Rainbow Bright doll. I may, I, I may hate myself afterwards, but I also may not. I'm just, I'm having fun looking at all these variations, and I know some of it is just sun damage. <laughs> but now that I know that they were made in two different countries, and there are visible differences between the two, um, and even from the same country there you can have two different ones you can have the gray hair or the pink hair uh you can have the light lipstick or the darker lips although the chinese both of those wait did i look at this one and this one too lighter yeah the face paint is lighter on all the ones from china that i have here in this room um i probably should have more than what i have seven to make an absolute determination on that, but it seems, and if I see anything different online, you know, maybe I'll tell y'all at some point, or if any of y'all have a baby bright that says made in China and it has very dark or not dark, but you know, prominent face paint with the lips and the star, take a picture. Let me know. Let me see. I'm just curious. So yeah, what I was saying, I'm going to pause this so it doesn't cut me off mid box opening and then we're going to dive in. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Um, and please don't cringe at me too bad. I know some of you out there are cringing um, just like I do. I make He-Man fans cringe when I open my 
Masters of the Universe classics figures, and they all keep theirs in the box, so... And I get it. Like, I'm a Rainbow Bright Collector Hardcore, and I hate it when people open <laughs> dolls. But like I showed y'all, like, this one has clearly been opened before. Even before I do it, I'll, sh I'll hold both of these up beside each other, and you can tell which one is in better condition. Like, just come on. This one looks like crap compared to this. The only thing wrong with this box is there's a little bit of a dent in the cardboard, like right here. It's just indented. But look, one piece of tape, not five or four or whatever. And same on the bottom, just one. So yeah, this is going to be my new boxed Tickle Pink that I display downstairs with the other box dolls. Um... But this one, yeah, her box, her box isn't even that great. Like, look up here, her star is all, like, scratched and bent. And the plastic is just all, it's been like that since I got it. The plastic is all crazy. Like, this cardboard right here is bent. I don't know if you can really see that from ah, that side. But this is bent. It's just, it's not in great shape. Like, the bottom was never opened, but... The corner is all kind of funky. Like, there's good reason for opening this. Look at all those pieces of tape. Look what somebody tried to pass off as men box. I don't actually remember if they said it had never been opened on the auction that I purchased it from. I probably got a very good deal on it, and that's probably why, because it had been opened and it wasn't in great shape. <sighs> This might be, wait, is it my first? No. It, hmm. I can't remember if it's my absolute first time opening a boxed doll, even if it has been opened before. Not my first, but it's, it's very rare. It's been a long time. Oh, look, that came off. I didn't even have to cut it. Okay, that one at least needs a cut. Or maybe it just slides through it so easily because it's old tape. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. And plus, like, this bottle is looking kind of gross. I'm kind of hoping the one inside looks better. Like, you can still see the colors. But then if you turn it around, that milk, that milky substance just dried up and turned to gross looking goo. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe the bottle in here will be better. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Terrifying, but fun. Alright. I mean, she should be easy. Yeah, she comes right out. She's not zip tied at all. There's, there's just some plastic. Oh, that one. Okay, I see the plastic that was around her head stuck at the bottom. So this is what used to be around her bangs. There's some random plastic. Oh, that's what the bottle used to be in. Okay. I feel like somebody opened this just to like look at the bottle and then just decided to put it back in. I mean, it still has the grossness on one side, but I do think the colors are much brighter actually on this one. Score! Better baby bright bottle. So maybe it was worth it just for that. But even like the cardboard inside this is kind of funky. I don't know. Like, I feel like there shouldn't be a big gap in the corner right there. <laughs> Maybe they're all like that. I don't know. Um, and no, I don't know what I'm going to do with that box. It's, that's a problem for another day. So, okay, girl. Let's, let's get you... Uh, ugh. Poor baby. Who did this to you? So her hair, or her scalp, okay, so she, again, yeah, she's from China. Um, her scalp is painted a very light color as well. So it kind of matches the pink. But it's lighter than that, so it, I don't know, that doesn't look painted. There's like a weird part at the top. Uh, maybe it is. 
That's like a line of plastic. That's supposed to be there. Hang on. Let me look at this one. Hold your butt. I'm looking at a thing. You have a weird line in your head. Oh yeah, you do. That's normal. Okay. Just making sure. I'm sorry you can't be on my lap during this one, darling. I'm sorry. But anyway. Um, yeah. But it does have, yeah, that lighter pink paint on the scalp. Even if she doesn't have white hair. And I'm glad that she has the pink look. Her thing is even undone. Like, ugh. Poor baby. Poor baby, baby bright. But her elastic is in really good shape. Oh my god. It's actually still elastic-y. Especially on this leg. It's tight. <laughs> well, that's cool. I can clean that dirt off of her. The front of her face. Oh, she has this weird blue spot on her face, too. Uh. Um, she would be a good one to display once I get her hair under control and get some of that dirt off of her face. Let's see if y'all can see. Yeah, see, she's got this blue-ish line right there. I don't know what that is. And then just some dirt on her nose and dirt above on her cheek. Who knows? But okay, light colored lips and star. Not quite as light as the one that has the completely different skin tone. Um, let's compare her to the other Chinese doll. About the same. But this one, I think, is it. I mean, her cheek star almost seems slightly darker. At least it's more easily visible on camera, but her lips, they're just a different shade. They're both a light pink, but they're a different shade of light pink. That's really funny. And this one's actually like shiny paint and this one is matte. Huh. Their cheek stars are completely different. Actually, their skin tone looks different. Like, this one does not look the same as that one. Mm. I don't know if y'all can if y'all can tell, but this one looks a little pinker. Swiss? No. Or is it that one? No, it's this one. Yeah. The one out of the box looks a little pinker. If that's visible at all to you, I don't know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a slight difference, but it maybe it's an age thing. Maybe with age, the plastic that they used in China darkens. Um, but again, like, this one is just so weird. She just is a completely different color. It's like... Just no makeup and makeup. <laughs> I'm not saying she has no makeup. It's just like the difference between. She, she looks like she has a tan compared to this one. Like she just looks very Caucasian. <laughs> she would get a sunburn in two seconds. And this one, a little bit olive skinned. That's so funny. So if anybody else has an olive skinned baby bright, let me know. Now I'm really curious if there are any others like that. And she has like pastel, like super light pink lips and cheek star. Um, so yeah, bottom of her feet, very, very vibrant blue. And her bodysuit, of course. Let's see. Yeah, all of her quilt stitching looks good. None of it is coming out or looks like it's in fear of coming out. There actually is a little bit of sun damage on her um, I'll pull this over so you can see, if you can see that, just a little bit right here where the outfit was covering the bodysuit is darker than right here in the front. Um, so see, she certainly was not in perfect condition, whether she was in a box or not. Um, oh yeah, let's look for the china bump. Oh my god, she doesn't have it! It doesn't even say, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's weird, you guys. 
I think you'll be able to see this. Now I'm really glad I opened this one. This is super weird. So it says the 1983 Hallmark cards, although it has the same issue where you can barely see the 1983. And there is a bump, but you can barely see it and it doesn't have any text on it. I'm sure it was supposed to say China, but it doesn't. I think you can see, see how there's just a ra slightly raised area right there? Like she has a pimple or something. <laughs> That's the China stamp. But it's so badly done that it doesn't actually say China. That's so weird. Wow, even the... I may have to take a picture of that. The hallmark and then the cards is like smaller and not at all like consistent. I think these were. Yeah, that looks pretty. Eh. The word hallmark is bigger. Um. pretty good but yeah the word cards on this one is just funky like it's it's smaller and it's kind of squished and side it's a little it's not real straight they, mm, somebody really messed up the back of her head when they were stamping that day um i don't know what else to say about her other than she's adorable but yeah like see how she has like, both of these armbands are yellow, whereas in other ones, it's, it's green. Um, now, this one is from China. Actually, both of these from China do have green, but it's very light green. Like, you can barely tell a difference. Again, a little bit of that sun damage, probably, but you can barely tell a difference. Whereas the one from Taiwan, like, boom, in your face green. Like, I know this one wasn't taken perfect care of, wasn't whatever, but her arms at least, at least the back of them were, you know, protected from the sun. And it's still, they're both yellow. There is no green to be had on this doll from China. So, I, uh, so weird. So weird. But I'm glad to have another Baby Bright in my now army of Baby Brights and Puppy Brights. <laughs> now I just need an army of Kitty Brights. Didn't I get an extra Kitty Bright at one point to compare those? I think I did a Kitty Bright thing once. I hope. Anyway. Yeah, because I got a box blood and I think I was talking about the differences in their patterns. And yeah. Um, her feet look weird. What's wrong with your... No, they all do that. Never mind. Her feet are fine. She's gorgeous. I'm going to try to clean her face. If y'all have suggestions on how to do that, let me know. Because I know some ways we'll take off other paint and I don't want to do that accidentally. Oh, and real quick, um, Baby Bright, kind of like Puppy Bright, was not featured in a lot of stuff. Um, like she was, well, Baby Bright was really the sphere of light. So in the cartoon, she disappeared after the beginning of Rainbow Land. Uh, she was just kind of a plot point. She was just the, you know, human embodiment of the spirit, the sphere of light that led Wisp on her journey to become Rainbow Bright. Um, but in merchandise, they did make a doll of her. They included her in coloring books, I believe. Yeah, she showed up in some of the stories, I think mostly foreign stories. Yeah. Off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of an American story she was in, but there probably are some. Uh, I mean, she came with a story. Oh, yeah, there's no story booklet. <laughs> no. I wonder if that's behind this cardboard. There should be a story booklet with her, I think. Although, I'm thinking that the Baby Bright story booklet talks about the sprites or something. Whatever. I have a typed out version. I probably even have a physical one in my collection. But it's not 
if it's in that box, it's underneath all that cardboard. And I don't feel like pulling it all out right now. Um, so yeah, there was not a lot of Baby Bright merch made, but there was some. And we did get this PVC figure that was sold in several European countries. Um, she doesn't have to sit. That's just the way I have her displayed. But yeah, her legs can go down so you can stand her up or sit her down. She's a little greasy. Um, <laughs> and then now I can show you, thanks to Janine, the Italian stamper that they made of her as well. Um, but apart from that, there's not a lot of Baby Bright merch out there or stuff that displays her. Like, I think I've seen her on two or three puzzles. Like, there's a couple, like, wooden thick puzzles. Um, I think they may be the ones that play music or used to play music. Um, they have Baby Bright in them. But, yeah, I already mentioned the coloring books. Yeah, not a lot else that I can think of off the top of my head. Not even... Like, is she in any of the greeting cards? I'm blinking on that too, but I can't think of one right now that features Baby Bright. Which is just sad, because she's one of the cutest characters in the entire series! Look how cute she is! And even in this, her hair is kind of in between the two colors. <laughs> like, it's not quite as bright as the pink, but it's not quite as silver and white as the white either. <laughs> Although this could also have some sun damage, I don't know. I don't know, probably the back look the same colors to me. I think she's fine, she's just a little dirty. Okay, I'm rambling now. I know what I wanted to do, I wanted to compare hair color. Oh no, I'm still way darker. Uh, <laughs> I'm not to baby bright pink yet, I'm still at tickle pink pink. But it's fading because I can't you know, go get my roots redone, so I can't, I mean, I could re it without doing the roots, but it's kind of pointless, because then you just, you gotta do it again when you do the roots, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but we're not here to talk about hair color and hair care right now, <laughs> but I hope this has been informative and entertaining, um, and something to, you know, keep you guys busy during all this downtime that some people have. Um, all of you who I feel super bad for who have lost jobs or are waiting to be able to go back to work or whatever the case may be. If you have a lot of time on your hands right now, I'm sorry. I hope you're finding fun things to do with it and making the best of it. Um, hopefully this has been helpful because I don't know, you know, unless I get several more things from eBay or whatever anytime soon, I probably won't be making another video for a little bit just because I don't have anything new to talk about uh, and I just did the baby bright thing so and that's old stuff I might could find some other old stuff to talk about I'll look around and see <laughs> if y'all have any requests any questions that are like bugging you anything you want answered maybe I'll do like a live Q&A or something I don't know It'll probably just be all of you trying to stump me on Rainbow Bright Trivia, and you probably will, because, you know, my memory's horrible. But, <laughs> whatever. We'll do a thing. I'll do a thing. I'm planning on it. Sometime. I don't know when. But, until then, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> and I hope you love Baby Bright as much as I do. Maybe we'll get a Baby Bright shirt in the future. That would be cute. I mean, this one is adorable, and even though I was right, and it is off-centered, um, when I first put it on, I was just like, ah, but I just kind of shifted it a little, and, and I think it's fine. So I don't hate this shirt as much as I thought I would with it being off-centered. Okay. Tangent. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to go now and put one of these baby brights in this little high chair and put Hello Kitty somewhere else. So, until next time, oh, my computer's even telling me it's time to go. Uh, <laughs> until next time, color kids, have a rainbow day. Bye.